in California. <laughs> Where do you live? I live oh, there. I would. Why'd you ask, by the way? I prefer a convention in Montreal. I might actually try to convince them to invite you. Which convention? Man? You should totally suggest me. You can I, email I, him. Littlecaribo at gmail.com. So there you go. Yeah. Although have the actual guest. I'm going to get emails from these guys that just say, yeah. <laughs> one convention that invited him last year which one in canada oh yeah, yeah. we're gonna say we'll protect the innocent we'll protect that <laughs> but they invited him and we were like going through all the things and and the first thing i said to them was you know i don't live in canada right and they said Haha, we know you're not a you're not we know you're not within walking distance if that's what you mean and he's like oh okay so we go through all this thing and he's like yeah travel accommodations blah blah, blah. and uh and he was also like having his green card approved at the time so we couldn't leave the country and so once we finally got the green card approved we emailed them and said oh good news the green card's approved so we can go to canada now and then they emailed him back and said yeah that's not happening because we didn't realize we'd need an international flight <laughs> that's very obvious i don't, I don't know not a very yeah. funny story in the end, the end yeah. it was just an awkward situation assassin's creed guy You want to start with how did you get into voice acting, Marion? Uh, <laughs> well, when I was ten, I watched my first DVD. It was Patch Adams, no. and um, it had all the behind-the-scenes stuff. So I watched behind-the-scenes stuff, and Robin Williams. Yes. There's a part of the movie. Yeah, Robin Williams. Yeah. There's a part of the movie where he <laughs> where he swims in a pool of spaghetti with this old lady. And that I took that moment to realize that my life's dream was to swim in a pool of spaghetti with an old lady. And the only way I could do that was to become an actor. And uh, so, literally the only way. Hey, speaking of spaghetti, there's a chef. Hey, I chef. I love your chocolate salty balls. <laughs> um, but yeah, so... Um, I like started auditioning for theater and on camera stuff when I was a really weird looking 14 year old because I was like six feet tall and awkward and I looked like I was, I didn't even look like an age, I just looked like I existed. <laughs> yeah. So like when I hit, when I hit probably about 16 I started watching anime and I was like, okay I don't think I could do this like in real life but I can voice act like I'm in a pool of spaghetti with an old lady. <laughs> so, um, I started talking to a bunch of voice actors uh, from Full Metal Alchemist, and then yeah. I ended up recording my demo reel in Texas. I just flew over there first. With Vic, right? Yeah. Who's was it? And uh, so yeah, um, I stopped over in Dallas, and my friend picked me up, and we knew Mike McFarland, and Mike McFarland was like, would you like a part in the Full Metal Alchemist movie? And I said, yes, I will take your money. And um, then I started getting cast in. You want to tell them what your line was in the Full Metal Alchemist movie? I don't know. It's really strenuous. It's very, very difficult on your voice. But I think you can pull it off. I think you can do it. Do you guys want to hear the line from the Full Metal Alchemist? Yeah! That didn't sound like yeah to me. That just sounded like ah. Yeah. <laughs> Ready? There it is. There it is. The carnival. <laughs> So, I'm rich. Was that your story? Yeah. That's amazing. So, <laughs> so how I got into the voice acting world is technically you my- You slept I, your way to the top. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, wait, you got my work. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, I told this story, like the first time I told the story was with friends at Comic Con last year. But technically the first acting job I did, well, it's not really a job. First role I had, you guys have the nativity play over here, right? Like with Jesus. Martin, people. every time you ask that question, you're going to get the same make, answer. I just want to make sure everybody's on the same page. Oh Who doesn't know what the hell a nativity play is? You can't say hell and nativity in the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Who the gosh darn? There you go. I mean, I'm an atheist and I know that. Come on. So I got cast as one of the three kings in the nativity play. How old were you? How old was I? I was like six, seven. <laughs> I was a little. I had like long flowing blonde hair. It was beautiful. You never had long I hair. did have long blonde 
curls. Did you have a bald spot on the top too? No. <laughs> I was like Finn from Adventure Time. That's what I looked like. <laughs> yeah. yeah! It looked different as a child. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have the beard too? I did not have the long, long flowing. I was Thor. I was Thor in the nativity play. Thor is tall. Yeah, a little tiny. Oh, so cute. So I was in the nativity play as the, the, the king. And the direction that the, the director gave us, or the teacher, or whoever it was, said, "Be really excited to see the Lord Jesus Christ when he's born." Okay. And so in my mind, I'm like, I'm gonna be the most excited person to see Jesus. Who's ever seen the Lord baby Jesus be born? It's just gonna be it's gonna blow everybody away. And so they bring out the little baby in the manger and they put him in the crib and everything. And the baby's right there. And the two of the kings are just like, that's eh, Jesus. Eh? <laughs> it's pretty much the savior right there. And I'm like, it's Jesus! Yeah! That was exactly how it was as a child. But it kind of came back full circle because we were driving to a Chinese place today and there's this church off the freeway somewhere, I don't know. Some people are like, <laughs> Chinese <food. laughs> But we, we were driving past this church and on the marquee, like, you know, sometimes it'll say inspiring things like, don't be a bad person or you'll die. <laughs> yeah. And this one, all it said- You'll die. <laughs> The church will hunt you down. <laughs> you don't have time to atone. <laughs> Rick, we ask at the budget. <laughs> um, anyway. But yeah, so this marquee, the only thing it said was, Jesus. <laughs> and the entire okay, car. <laughs> and the entire car. Hi, Steve. Thanks, guys. Steve. Hi, Steve. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs>